Hi guys, I'm Angie with Violet Doodles Boutique and today I want to show you how I made my football cup. This technique can be used for anything that you want to resemble grass or turf. Um, it's very simple and I'll show you how to do that. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to be notified. Okay, our spray paint is dry. I took off the old tape and retaped this after it was completely dry because the next step is going to be uh, to apply our dill weed using the epoxy method. So instead of Mod Podge this time or any kind of spray adhesive, we're going to go straight to putting epoxy on this and then sprinkling our dill weed right on top. So this is ready to go on the turner. Um, I will wipe it off again with alcohol in just a minute. I'm going to take my alcohol on a paper towel again and just lightly wipe over my cup where I've been handling it to make sure all those oils are off. Don't rub too hard because it can take the paint off. application or the dill weed application. I like to put paper under my cups to catch any excess so that I can reuse it and store it back into my jar. I'm just going to start at the top and just kind of work its way around and just go at the speed that the cup is turning. The main reason that I did a base coat of green on this is because if I did miss any spots or maybe there's a little bit of a, a lighter coat of the dill weed, I don't want to have to do a second one. The green paint behind it kind of gives the illusion that the full cup is covered. The epoxy and dill are completely cured and you can handle it. Uh, the next step is going to be to tape it off again for another layer of epoxy. And the way that I like to tape it off now is not right up against where the dill and the epoxy are, but just a tiny bit below it so that my next coat will cover everything and touch the stainless. I want it to touch the bare stainless. Okay, it's been about 20-30 minutes, so we're going to take this off and remove the tape, clean it up, and stick it back on, and let it go. It looks kind of lumpy and bumpy right now. After this is cured, I will sand it down and show you how to do that. Um, this is normal looking for the dill weed. Uh, I did kind of estimate how much of the epoxy I used, and it was probably about 
15 milliliters total because it did soak up so much. Okay, the epoxy is cured on uh, our tumbler. It's still really rough, and we could sand this at this point and put the decal on, but it's so rough, I don't want to sand that much. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and do another coat of epoxy to kind of smooth that out just a little bit more, and then I'll sand you can see how rough it is, and that's just because of the dill weed. Uh, the next step is going to be to sand this smooth so we can put our decal on it and put another layer on. I'm using um, some scrap sandpaper that I had. It's 100 grit. All right, this has been washed with Dawn dish soap in the sink with warm water, dried with paper towel. You can still kind of see that not every part of the cup was sanded, but that's the lower parts of the cup. It does feel smooth to the touch and is ready for a decal. Since we are doing this one to look like turf, like a football field, I have these yard lines cut and I just made these um, with the Silhouette software on my Cameo. I already have the transfer tape on it, so I'm just gonna peel that off. And this is a weeding tool that I made. It's actually a straight pin that I cut the head off and then stuck down in my mechanical pencil. So I have a really sharp weeding tool. It's the, probably the most used tool that I have right now. At it overall, I like the size of it, I like the shape of it. Zoom out a little bit. And then I'll need some sort of image to go here. I will stay away from those copyrighted images though. I'll put some more generic football phrase or touchdown or something like that. So now this is ready to be taped off and get a coat of epoxy. 
uh, but I think I will go ahead and redo this bottom one and cut an image for the middle. We are finally ready for our last coat of epoxy. I added the tailgates and touchdowns decal. I also fixed the decal that was a little bit crooked and not quite lining up right. So everything is ready to go. I've already taped it using electrical tape this time. It works much better. Let me get it on here nice and straight. Okay, this one is ready to have the tape taken off. I've already taken off one, and you can see there is just a little bit of a tail where the epoxy leaked under where the two pieces met. It's a lot different than when we were doing it with masking tape and it kind of bled all around. Electrical tape is a lot easier to clean up. And you can see that you can't tell now that it was ever sanded. It's nice and smooth. Looks like grass. You can see the green spray paint behind, uh, which is why we did a base coat. Otherwise, you'd see stainless back there, but it looks really good. So we'll let this one keep spinning until it's finished. Then we'll decide if it needs to be sanded with a last coat or if it's good to go now. This was a really fun project and I'll let you know that this cup I've actually been using for over a year and it has held up really well. The dill weed hasn't faded or anything. If you have any questions, please drop those in the comments below. I do try to answer every single one of those. Also be sure to scroll through those comments if you have a question because it may already be answered. And for any product information, check the video description and I have several links there for you. So thanks again. Please like and subscribe to the channel and let me know what else you want to see. Thanks guys.